day 16 in the mirror. And I today am so lucky to be on this huge Saba Pentandra tree in my dear friend's forest. And we are marveling at this giant, beautiful, majestic tree. There have been some questions, so I'm just going to tell you about this tree. Uh, this is a tree that never really had a use before. That's probably why it's still here. Unfortunately, they have since learned that this tree is useful for cork. And if you drink wine, you probably know that there is a problem with cork. We've run out. So, yikes! <laughs> this is a very porous wood, and this woodwork. It is not officially on the protected list in Costa Rica, but I think most people who have a giant like this on their farm aren't going to let it be cut down. Sometimes you'll see a giant like this left over in a cattle pasture or on the edge of a field. And they tend to reach far and wide and be seen from all over. This tree's been called the tree of life. It's been called the tree of four winds. Historically, this tree has a really cool use. It makes a big pod, and that pod is filled with this sort of woolish lana. And they used to make life preservers out of it. It's a kapok. Say, but Pentandra Kapok. I see someone going, yes, Jenny, I get it. Yes, they used to make pillows and life preservers out of the, the furry stuff that comes out of this. And the reason we wanted to come here today was because in my yard, about five miles from here, I've been finding some of the furry stuff with one or two seeds in it. When these pods explode, they fly through the air. And I've been having some land in my yard, and I know that I don't have one of these on my farm. So I asked my friend Dina, hey, I think your, your tree may be giving seeds. Let's go check it out. And so we had this beautiful opportunity with this great group of people who are all tree lovers. And I really enjoyed the emotion that I felt.